First things first, shout out them boys at Sega for giving your boy that earlier view. Copy, bless up. But yo, what's good, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well today. It's your boy back at it again, man. And of course, we got to talk about this Demon Slayer game. I'm going to assume by now you guys have at least heard about the Demon Slayer game. It's been making some pretty huge waves across the community and get it. <laughs> Waves, water breathing, <laughs> kill me. And you know, me and myself have been putting in that time, man. You know, I streamed the whole entire story mode over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash IvyXL if you wanna go check that out. And also, you know, I've been grinding that ranked, man. And you know, I have a, I feel like I got a pretty good understanding of the game at this point. So of course today I wanted to cover different aspects of the game that I love, that I enjoy, and some things that I think, you know, maybe need a little bit of work, need a little rough around the edges and things that I feel like it needs for the game to survive. So without further ado, let's get into it. First thing I feel like we should talk about is a pretty easy one, and that's basically the presentation of the game. You know, what I mean by that is, you know, how does the game look? You know, when you see the game, you know, does it give you a tingly feeling in your heart or something like that? Does it make you feel some things? And boy, I'm gonna tell you this right now, this game making me feel a lot of things. This game is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, bro. Cyber Connect 2 went all out with the art style, the animation. It's so akin to the actual, you know, source material. It's just, it looks amazing. The aesthetic and the atmosphere of the game is extremely easy on the eyes. It just, I can't stress enough how good the game actually looks. Like, it's actually insane. So yeah, no complaints there. I feel like they really nailed the Demon Slayer look of that. So honestly, 10 out of 10 for the presentation part. Now, the next part is probably, of course, the main thing that people are wondering about about they're concerned about you know this is the main thing about the game and that is the gameplay the combat how does it feel how does it run well I'm gonna tell you this right now um if I had one word to describe the combat of Demon Slayer Hinakami Chronicles um it's like crack legitimately when you're playing this game it's the equivalent to like sniffing a line of cocaine like you just can't get enough it's so satisfying to land these combos these finishers these awakenings man and just like absolutely you know get these dubs and decimate your opponent bro like it's so satisfying man and even when you're taking some l's here and there man you know i I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not perfect. I be taking L's sometimes, bro. It, it makes you still wanna come back for more. One thing that is really interesting about the gameplay and the combat is actually it seems a little bit more streamlined and stripped back than, you know, its predecessors, the, you know, the Storm series also made by CyberConnect2. It definitely doesn't seem as, I would say, complicated, even though I don't really think it was complicated in the Storm series at all, but I definitely feel like Demon Slayer Hinakami Chronicles is way, way more beginner friendly. I feel like if anybody picks up this game right now and, you know, goes online or whatnot or plays against a friend, they really wouldn't have any trouble, you know, getting some dubs or, you know, learning the controls. Like, it's really fairly easy to, like, land combos and string them and get together into, like, some crazy stuff and, you know, finish with the ultimate. Like, there's really no learning curve in my opinion until you get into the more intricate stuff such as like perfect pairing stuff that requires a little tiny bit more practice in the lab maybe you know there's already people learning like 90 percent to 100 percent combo so there's definitely you know a spot for the competitive scene and also the casual side but um i feel like the gameplay is e extremely beginner friendly like i said um, it's crack cocaine. You just can't put the controller down once you're playing a match or you're playing against your friends and whatnot. So honestly, there's really no complaints there. This was probably like the main drawback for a lot of people getting the game is that it doesn't really have a lot of variety in terms of the characters. But I can safely say from, you know, trying out a bunch of different characters, there's actually a ton of variety there. Like no two characters legitimately feel the same. Like I feel like every character is special in their own way. To, they do their own thing. They have their own combos their own startups and, and, and their own ultimates you know they all feel very different so even if it seems like yes the roster is small at this current point in time even though it's uh public knowledge at this point that there is going to be a patch and update coming out later where they're going to introduce playable demons such as akaza and rui so they're going to expand the roster a lot more but right now we only have you know who we got but you know just playing as different characters like tanjiro and rengoku and inosuke and zenitsu they all play differently and they all fit you know in different teams together so i feel like if you're worried about oh like you know the roster size is going to become boring because you know you can't you know find a variety of characters don't worry about that because for sure bro you're gonna find a main you're gonna find people that you like and you know even then you can still switch and you know feel like you're getting a fresh taste of something now before i talk about the online at all which is probably like the main portion that a lot of people are wondering about this game you know playing against other players and whatnot i have to talk about the story man the story slaps 
point blank period bro cyber connect 2 cannot be stopped with the story mode of this game bro it slaps so heavily like i said i streamed this over on my twitch i completed the whole entire story mode in about seven hours on stream man first things first this kind of ties into the presentation it looks beautiful man the cutscenes, the quick time events like faithful to the source material it added a lot of new stuff to you know spice up the gameplay a little bit but other than that everybody i don't really want to spoil the story mode i want people that are gonna get this game to experience that for themselves because i'm telling you dude it, it slaps man especially you know some scenes that happen later on you know if you're familiar with the show and whatnot and you know ah oh, just it hits different bro but with that being said it's probably time to jump into probably the biggest aspect of the game that a lot of people are going to be into and that is the online the matchmaking the ranked system is it good is it not well there's a lot of things that I like about it, and there's a lot of things that I feel like needs to happen for the game to survive. Things that I like about it so far, in my experience at least, the connection has been stable, you know? I haven't really been lagging whatsoever when I, you know, face off against other people. There was only one instance where I felt like it was absolutely unbearable to play. I'm telling you, like, I legitimately could not press the jump button. I was pressing that five billion times, and my input would actually happen 10,000 centuries later and, like, mess up my combo sometime. But that was, like, the only instance that I really had a problem. But I played about maybe 60 matches so far, and um, definitely, like, oh, oh, there's only, like, one occurrence of that happening. But from a connection standpoint, I feel like it's pretty solid, at least in my experience, like I said. Um, there is a delay input in the online, which is kind of, uh, because, you know, timing stuff such as like tilts or, you know, just, you know, perfect parries can be kind of frustrating just knowing that there's a little bit of a delay and that can really mess you up. A little bit of a nuisance, but it's definitely not something that is totally game breaking at least for me in my opinion now this is probably the main gripe that i have about the online and the biggest issue that i think needs to have some sort of solution to they need to add some stuff to that and that's just the limited game modes and online so far whenever you go to the versus mode you can pick to do a offline battle which you know you can play with your friends you know like locally and stuff like that or you can choose to go, of course, you know, online and you can do a ranked match or you can do a custom private match, which you are able to invite, you know, a random person or a friend. And that's about it. It's either ranked or the custom private match. There is no arena or spectator mode, which I think needs to be implemented some way, shape or form, bro, for the lifespan of the game. I get that some people love to sweat, they love to get the number one rank, but there is a side of the community that I feel like would love to have, you know, just chill sessions with the boys or just with your friends, you know, in a in a spectator match, have arenas, especially like if I'm streaming this, I would love to play with viewers in like my own arena and, you know, we can see, you know, just have some fun, man, instead of just always sweating online on a ranked, you know, you feel me? But yeah, everybody, just a few final thoughts before we wrap up this review over Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. Um, if you are a fan of Demon Slayer in any way, like, I I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little biased towards the game, bro. Like, when I heard that they're making a Demon Slayer game, I was already on board the idea. Like, I love the anime so much. I love the characters in Demon Slayer. I just love everything about it. So regardless, I felt like, I was gonna mess with the game and to find out that was being made by cyber connect to the same people that are making you know the storm series that's a very popular i was all aboard the hype train bro but if you are a fan of demon slayer i would definitely say this game is a cop it is a buy bro definitely you'll find some sort of enjoyment in it you know you know whether it is you know just playing through the story mode again and experiencing everything or you know going online and trying to rise up the ranks i feel like anybody can find some type of enjoyment playing this game if they love demon slayer so definitely if you're a fan of demon slayer go ahead and got this game but yeah, everybody that's gonna be it man let me know in the comments down below let me know what you guys are thinking about this new demon slayer game bro have you already copped it are you playing it have you been grinding out that rank just let me know everything in the comments guys also make sure to leave a like guys and subscribe we're trying to hit that 200,000 subscribers together you already know how it is but other than that guys it's been your boy Ivory. hope you have a great ass day today and i'm out peace <laughs>